Hi, welcome to Contributor Tutorials. My name is Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to sharpen your images using a high pass filter. When editing and selecting images from your photo shoot, you always want to make sure that you're selecting images that are sharp and in focus. However, sometimes when you're looking at the file in its raw state, it doesn't appear as sharp as it could be, even though it is in focus. Or in some cases, a photographer wants to employ a bit of creative sharpening to draw the, the viewer to a certain detail. In these cases, a lot of photographers will use a filter in Photoshop called Unsharpen Mask. While this is a powerful tool, its main use is for output sharpening, which means that you use the filter when you're outputting to the final size that the image is going to be used at. Since we're supplying these images for stock photography, we actually don't know how, what the final size the customer is going to be using the file at. So to make sure that we're going to have a robust and usable file, I'm going to recommend another way of sharpening your images and that's going to be using the high pass filter. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is make a copy of your background layer. I'm going to grab my background and I'm just going to drag it down to the new layer icon. And as you can see, it quickly makes a background copy. The next, we need to make this an overlay. And as you can see, that's really enhanced the contrast and made it really punchy. But this is a two step process. So when we employ the high pass filter, you'll see this contrast just fade away. So we're going to use the high pass filter. So we're going to go up to the filter, other, and it's just right here under high pass. As you can see, that contrast is just sort of faded away because of the high pass filter that we're now employing. Now, anytime you are doing any sharpening, you always want to view the image at 100%. So I'm just going to zoom in at 100%, and I'm just going to find an area that has a bit of detail like the, uh, the eyebrow here and the eyelashes on, on our model. Now you can see here too, we do have a preview of the high pass. I'm just gonna zoom out so that we can have a little bit more viewing. And as you can see, this is how the high pass filter views. It's basically a gray layer and it's basically showing you the tonal differences between areas of um, sharp contrast. So as you can see where we have a lot of contrast areas here in the eyebrow and in the eyelashes, we're getting a little bit more detail. Now there's only one slider in the high pass filter and that's the radius. As you see, as we increase it to the right, we are getting more detail in both the eyebrow and we're also picking up a little bit more detail in the skin as well. Now when you are employing the high pass filter, it is a balance between sharpening the details that you wanna see and ensuring that you're not enhancing other details that you don't want to see. So in this case, in the background here, you can almost see that we are getting a little bit more pixelated and in the skin as well, we're, we're picking up a little bit more detail and I really don't think that's necessary. What I really want to see is just sort of his eyelashes and eyebrows sort of sharpened a little bit just to give it a little bit of pop and draw your eyes to them. So I'm just going to back this down to where we were before. I, I thought that looked fairly good, uh, maybe around the three, three point. As you can see, we, we don't have a lot of the detail that we were seeing in the skin before, but we do still have a lot of good detail in the eyebrow and in the eyelashes. So I'm just going to select OK. And just looking at the eyebrow here and the eyelashes, I'm going to preview before and after. So before and after. And again, just looking at the eyelashes, eyebrows, and maybe this area here in the pupil, before and after. I think that definitely has enhanced the eyelashes, and it's definitely going to give that crispness that we're looking for without uh, enhancing any unwanted details. I think that looks good, so I'm just going to zoom out, make sure that it hasn't affected any part of the image, and it looks good. So I'm just going to finish up this file by selecting the flatten image from the drop down menu. And there we go. Once we save this file, it's ready to go. I hope this has been helpful and please check back for more tutorials. Take care.